Hey everyone, this is Zach with Sweet CG. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a, an update video. Uh, things uh, kind of got crazy uh, for, like, for us, just like with everyone else, uh, when the pandemic hit. And um, home life and work life and uh, just life in general uh, just got real crazy. So uh, ev I know everyone can relate. Uh, no one has been left untouched by this. So, um, uh, But today's video, um, I'm going to show you uh, a new feature that we've added uh, that kind of uh, was built in response to uh, the pandemic. Uh, Sweet CG Multisport Scoreboard wasn't really intended to um, handle this, but um, we found out uh, we would, with just a couple changes, uh, we would be able to make a fairly straightforward interface to support high school and college graduations. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, so uh, you would create a new session, and in our selection of templates, uh, you'd see graduation here, and you'd select that. I'm actually going to load a session I've already created. And you can see the interface is a little bit different from what you'd see from a typical sports uh, setup. Uh, I'm going to load a graphics project as well. So we've created an NDI enabled graphics project uh, to go along with our, our graduation ceremony. Um, and then in addition, all of this outputs uh, to uh, XML and CSV files, uh, same as usual. However, uh, what you'll find is um, we, we didn't rename any of the output keys. We, really, we just repurposed them. So like over here in our lower thirds, you can see you got speaker one, um, speaker two, and we provide two lines for each of those. Well, if you hover the mouse cursor over, um, you'll see the XML key, announcer one, and the speaker one title, it's really announcer one Twitter. So if you come over here, and, and this is again for only if you're using a third-party CG, um, then you would find your, I believe that one is match details. You're going to see announcer one, announcer two, announcer three, and then their Twitter uh, field. So these are, again, these are fields that we des we developed with the intent of using in sports productions. Um, and really, uh, we just kind of reskinned the user interface. Um, to repurpose those uh, text fields um, to make it easy to label here for your operator, but in your CG you'd be looking at these these other things that wouldn't seem so intuitive uh, in the first place, uh, but um, it works. Um, likewise, our our student list. Uh, which you can see here, and we'll get into this in a little more detail. What we really just did here is um, our list of students. That's really a sponsor list. Uh, so in Multisport Scoreboard, you're able to import, uh, create uh, a list of sponsors with images and, um, and uh, uh, text fields for like a live read and the name and website and things like that. Well, really, we just repurpose that list, uh, that feature, and um, uh, repurposed it to, to be a list of students. So if you come over here to the sponsor and marquee, um, if I come back over here to event control and select uh, James Hupp, you're going to see the sponsor carousel name, phone website, um, is, uh, is all of our fields uh, for um, populating a graphic. Uh, additionally, there's the, uh, the carousel logo, and that will export an image for your student if you have one. You'll also see there is um, the second field is a pronunciation. Um, in a typical multi-sport sport, multi -sport scoreboard game, this is where your live read would be for your uh, broadcaster to announce. That doesn't actually output in the XML files or, or out to our NDI uh, CG. But um, uh, like this guy, what you'll see here in the interface is the pronunciation there. So um, depending on your situation, um, the, the idea here is you could screen share this to your, um, to your announcer who's calling the names. 
and the pronunciation guide is right there. So they would see this screen, but really as, as names uh, cycle through, um, they would be looking at the pronunciation if it applies. So um, one of the benefits of using the sponsor list for this is um, you, have the, you have the capability to manually advance through uh, your list. You can jump ahead with the big buttons here or um, with the sponsor carousel, you can create a timed interval. So you can click the play button here and after five seconds, in this case, it would automatically advance. That was one feature that uh, um, some people asked for. If you're in a in a, you're in, a, in an environment where it's an all virtual graduation, and um, you don't want to go clicking through uh, every time um, your announcer or your your presenter uh, reads the name, uh, you don't have to. You can just set it and click go, and maybe five seconds is too long. Um, but then they just look at the screen and they read the name as it comes up. Uh, and that can save you a lot of time and energy uh, making, making that work. So uh, that's what we've got for that. Um, and then the, all, like I said, all the rest of these, the lower thirds, uh, we got a couple, we got three different uh, fields for a speaker, three fields for music performance. Those are really interchangeable. If you got four speakers and two musical performances, there's, there's nothing to say that you can't, you can't do that. Um, and uh, again, this is where we, we actually repurpose the, the keys to the game outputs for those. Anytime you're not sh certain of what the XML key is, just hover over any of these fields to find out what it is. And then we have event details here. Um, so you can put in the event name uh, and all of that stuff. And then you can even add uh, a school logo um, which is a repurposed company logo. Um, and then we have the primary and secondary colors for the schools. Now what you'll find is uh, th these are different colors that aren't part of your, your session. It's, um, we have these custom color fields um, that we've added. They will always start out uh, red and blue um, per our installer. And that needs to be changed on every installation that you have uh, but once you set it once um, it, it doesn't follow your your game file or your template it follows the installation so um, once you set it once on a machine it's going to change it's going to stay but if you bring it over if you install sweet cg on another computer and uh, bring that that session file over those primary and secondary colors aren't going to aren't going to follow you'll have to reset it on that new machine so um I'm going to view our opening title here. And really what I want to do, I'm going to change these to like a white. And or I'm sorry, uh, I want I want blue as the primary and then white. Um, and this will work with whatever your school colors are. Um, and then you can change change the logo as well. Um, Now, one thing you're also going to want to do um, the your your default font, and this is something that we want to look at changing, where uh, a font can get a, can get assigned to a project file. We haven't implemented that yet. Um, this font really doesn't work uh, for you know uh, graduation. So you can come up here to graphics, select default font, and you're probably going to want something more like the uh, Calibri or or Cambria or something like that. So um, so there you go, you got that. Um, and then you can uh, go through all of the different titles here. And um, uh, we'll, we'll get back to the commencement of students here. Um, before your show starts, uh, we also have the, the clock here. Uh, so you can just set that, set that to go, or you can you know bump it down to 30 minutes or whatever. Um, so when people tune in, uh, but if you're doing a live stream, um, then uh, you can have that clock going in advance. Um, you can also um, have it as a little bug um, or not use it at all. Um, but then, uh, so you got your opening title, you got your, your guest speakers, 
um, to go along with all those and your musical performances. Um, in Bank 2, we do still have the custom message. Um, and then the commencement of students. This is really what everyone's interested in. Um, oh, one more thing. On your closing title, and maybe on, there's nothing there. On your closing title, um, you can see congratulations, graduates. Um, so we've got Hill Valley High School Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. That's coming from our event title here. But this congratulations, graduates, if you right click the closing title, that's actually custom wording one. Uh, so you can change that to be whatever you want uh, if you don't like that. Um, OK, so let's get to the commencement of students. Um, you can click the buttons here. You can set your uh, manually advance through, set your timer and click play and just let it go. Um, and then uh, you've, the default here is just your lower third. Now, if you right click the commencement of students, you can also display as a full screen scenario. And if you don't have photos, oh, if you do the full screen, it's, it's, it's assumed you're going to do a photo. So you can't remove that. However, you could, um, you could just remove, um, uh, there we go. Uh, remove if you, if you don't have pi a picture, um, it's not going to uh, it's going to default in as blank. Um, and then we also have um, a scenario where you can display it as a. Um, sorry, I want to get back to the, the lower third here. Um, if you have the photo, it would appear there in the lower third. Going to get rid of that for now. Um, now, it gets a little tricky here, um, where if you're doing a high school graduation, you want to leave this first um, uh, custom option blank or unchecked. Um, and be, the reason that is is because um, the second field here can be used for one of two things. You can either um, use it as um, the academic program that they were in if they were in college, or if they've declared a school, as a high school student, they've declared a school where they want to attend college, um, you could put the declared school there. So I'm just going to put uh, tech college here. And um, let's see. Oh, I got a. Wait, who is that? That was Charlie Hoover. Oh, yeah. So you can see here it says uh, Tech College. Now, if they leave that blank, now you'll see that field disappears completely. Um, but if it's a college student, um, what we what we do is uh, we use that field for their academic program. So communication studies, and then if they have a special commendation, that is in a different field as well. Uh, OK, so uh, now to import a, a student list, um, because you, you have hundreds of students, depending on the size of your school. Uh, what we've done is we've added the ability to import um, from a CSV file or a TSV tab separated file. Uh, so the, the issue is um, if you um, are going to be using commas uh, in, in any of your fields, um, I don't know how common it is uh, for a uh, name, uh, to have a comma in it, an apostrophe, sure, uh, comma, I don't know, but um, special commendations, um, or if they there's a, a dual major for a college student and there's a comma separating those two majors, then you that forces you to go to the tab separated, uh, the TSV template, uh, because that comma in your um, 
uh, in your field um, will cause problems on importing and it's going to screw you up so you just don't want to do that uh, so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open the csv template and I'm going to close that. And so we, we preload in a, a, uh, a template file for sponsors. Again, the, the student list for graduations are based on the, um, the multi-sport scoreboard sponsor feature. So the, the, the headers here, which, which have to remain uh, when, you, when you import your student list, um, the, these have to be here. Um, and they follow this this formatting. So if we come back over to Sweet CG, you can see up here we tell you what those fields actually need to be. So the first name and last name format is what you put in the name field. And then um, the website you use for the academic program um, or a declared school if it's a high school um, and you intend to use that field, you can leave it blank. Um, and then the phone is for special commendations, um, like high distinction, magna cum laude, things like that. And then the live read um, is for live read if you feel the name requires um, um, a pronunciation guide. Um, all of those fields can be left blank as well. Um, I guess with the exception of the, the name, you don't want to leave that blank. Uh, but the, you don't need to fill out the other fields um, if you don't want to. And then the logo... Um, that works uh, a little differently. That can be left blank as well. If you um, have a logo, the file needs to be in the same. Uh, the image needs to be uh, exact here in the cell, but then the image needs to be saved in the same folder where you save this uh, uh, CSV file when you perform the import. So, and we'll, we'll take a look at that in, the, in just a minute. As you can see right here, I've just got some, some basic dummy information here. I'm not gonna do anything with this. I'm not gonna import, um, uh, I'm not gonna change any, any values here. But what you would do, the, 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 th the theory is here that you would receive a spreadsheet from the school that has the student's name and um, some or none of the additional information or all of the additional information. And you're going to have, um, depending on the size of your school, you, you could have any number of, of students. Well, you're not going to retype all those. So um, you take the spreadsheet that the school provides you, and then you have to copy and paste you know, the columns and put them into the right columns here. Um, and then if you have 200 images, uh, then you would have to have 200 images that get saved in the same folder um, as um, as the CSC file. So I'm going to say graduation template and save. Okay, so now I've got the graduation template. Now if I come over to um, let's just open file location here. All right, so the default location to save that is this uh, content folder for Sweet CG, Multisport Scoreboard, Sponsors. Here's my CSV file. If I've got 200 students in that and I'm using images, all 200 images need to be in this folder as well. Um, and if it doesn't, we warn you. So uh, what I've got here in, in this import, I've got um, just the Sweet CG information and then I've got a logo for Sweet CG. It's a PNG file. But the fi that image is not in this folder. So I'm going to try importing. One thing you need to be aware of, it's very important, uh, when you import, the CSV file can't be opened by any other program. So I've saved it as graduation template. I'm going to close that now. Um, all right, so now I come back over here to import select file for import and now i immediately get an error one or more images were not found please review your imported list to look for missing images so what that means is um, it could not find the png file that i told told that was associated with this uh, sponsor 
slash student. Um, and if you have 200 you know, students um, and you have 200 images and you make a typo, well, at least you're you're warned. We, we're not going to go through and tell you which ones are missing, but you'd be able to scan through here and find what student it is, and then you would be able to select it um, with uh, with the add button here. Uh, so, and as you can see here, when I imported that, that didn't append the original list. It uh, scrapped it, and um, so yeah, you, know, you have to. Uh, you, anything that was in there is lost. So I'm actually going to re-import um, uh, the the file here, and I'm actually I'm going to skip over it. We've we've included two sample files, uh, one with a college uh, layout and one with high school. I'm going to select the the high school layout here. Now, if you find out that there's um, some changes that need to be made in the order. Uh, well, you can, to change the order, you would select here. These are all alphabetical, but let's pretend they're not. You would select your your item here, and then you can move it up or down the list. And then that list updates over here. So when you, if you were to import from a CSV file, then um, the, the easiest thing is to do the, your alphabetical sorting. <clears throat> sorting and all that, do that in the spreadsheet before you import into Sweet CG because our tools for moving items around in the list um, are fairly rudimentary. Um, so do it in the in the spreadsheet first and then the order that it, that is in the spreadsheet is the order that you get um, in Sweet CG. Now if you have changes, uh, some a typo that you find or things like that, then you can certainly do those here. But another cool thing we have over here is you can actually right click the button and make modifications on the fly. So um, if you've got, you've got a list of, uh, again, 200 students here and um, you're going through it and you find out um, student 157 is wrong, uh, well, then you gotta come back here and you gotta find it. Well, no, you can just, just right click it and uh, type it in right there or even change the image there. So um, that's what we got. Um, if you have any questions, uh, certainly let us know. Uh, we see some opportunity to use this uh, interface in other ways as well, not just graduation. Um, uh, possibly a regular, you know, weekly shows uh, where you do lower thirds for guests. Um, this could work very well. Obviously, if you're using the NDI graphics package, a graduation themed uh, package is not going to work. So we would need to provide some sort of uh, uh, graphics package to uh, go along with that theme. Um, or if you're, but, but if you're using a third party CG, like it just the, the built-in graphics for vMix or you're using live text or live stream studio or something that where you can, it, use the external data, then certainly uh, this would work for that right out of the box. And you just need to link the those data keys up to your graphics, and then you control the data uh, from, from here. So I'd like to hear your feedback. Um, hopefully uh, you'll be able to make use of this. And I uh, um, hope everyone is uh, staying safe and, safe and healthy uh, through the COVID-19 pandemic, and I'm looking forward to the time where uh, we can get back to sports uh, in a safe and uh, um, safe and secure way. And uh, but until then, we'll keep working on Sweet CG, get back onto the uh, the sports uh, features, and um, implementing some of the other uh, uh, plans and features we have uh, for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay safe.